Hello boys and girls. Welcome to Pico my shoulder in Gorky 17. Uh, I think it's the final lab where we're at and finally I was able to get through the Incubus uh, fight without crashing the game. Ooh. Energy blaster! Oh my! do. I think I'm gonna let him keep it because he already has the iron rifle and he has all sorts of other toys. I'm guessing that this is another uh, self-recharging thingy. I'm guessing we're gonna meet all sorts of nasty here. In fact, I'm gonna take a wild guess that it's like it's the same as with the city streets, that every corner means an encounter. Viciously uh, loot heavy area. Okay, we can't go there. <gasps> Some sort of doodad coil. That means science. sure it's something nice. What's this up here? Oh, teleport controller. How do we get up there? I think we have to go through this area, no? Levers, doodads. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What? What? You think they're here, don't you? <laughs> Maybe. Something strange here. Too quiet. Keep your eyes wide open, guys. And...
go our way through there. I know what to do. there but they are protected. This gives me an idea. device thingy. Also, let's do the doodadding. Yes. Now what do you have? this. I get it. Okay, let's 
plant some explosives right away.
north to go.
Nope. What did I just save? <laughs> Strange doodads. Let's examine. Yuldich! <laughs> okay, so we can walk around here. Uh, let's see the healing items. Do we have something less than the big kit? No, okay, then, then we leave it for emergencies. machine. No idea what it does. Of course, let's, let's switch it on. Ah, no, we are not. <laughs> but I guess we will be any second. screams we were sure you were dead and you look so hard to help me i am lucky i need no help but listen now we have not so much time i'm tired of secrets you lured us here didn't you 
You've been following us since the sewers. You want my story or do you want to ask me questions? Fine. We'll listen. You have heard, I think, of Gorky 17, a Russian city bombed by its own army. How did you know? Questions, questions, <laughs> questions. Quiet and listen. Fine. So you hear of Gorky 17. But do you hear of Russian experiment codenamed Dasha's family? Eh, I think you don't. Also, you don't hear of teleportation. Yes, this is real. This works. <laughs> Only too well. Of course, Dasha's family was a military project. First they teleport animals, then they teleport humans. Works fine. Everything fine. But after two weeks, the people, they change. Their skin, their colors, they feel pain, angers, furies. Then worse, they, they mutate. You see yourself that after they weren't humans anymore, only what the scientists called hybrids. But do the scientists stop? No, they kill the hybrids, change the teleportation device a bit, start it again. Only now it's worse. Mutations come faster, within hours. And worse, Yay. the mutations start to spread like plague. How do the scientists say, yeah, yeah, yeah. He say, teleportation make virus. Virus change human. Smart scientist, but <laughs> smart do not save him. He changed just like all the others. So the bombers come, they destroy the city, kill everyone, except for me. Do you have any proof? Do I have proof? I am proof. I survived Gorky 17. I was experiment. Only I know change, yes? Only I survived to, to remember the horror. Lucky yes, uh, maybe no. <laughs> you survived Gorky 17? Then how'd you get here? One failure, not enough. No, as you see, their work continues. They bring me here. It is how it is called the, um, a backup. Of course, the hurry, it comes with them. You see it all here. No man did this. I think you are full of it. <laughs> this is devil work. Why should we believe any of this? Yes, I almost believe you also. Only you survived. Only you want to tell all. Lucky, lucky guy. <laughs> I have come with you here. I risk my life to get here. Isn't that proof? Listen, Matrix Discs. Fix this. Fix people. Are you serious? Right. Why didn't you just tell us? Many people. They do not want this fixed. They want this all gone. Dead. Once I see that you were not one of them, then I can tell you. <laughs> talk is cheap, Dabrowski. So is paranoia. I want more than talk. This is crap. How do I know those discs don't kill us? I said Dubrowski's trouble when I see him. And <laughs> I was right. Shut up, Ovitz. Let's see if the Matrix discs work. Come on, damn it! Something should be happening! Beep, bloop. <laughs> Careful, Sullivan. You'll step back from that gear. I can't do that, sir. The world wants to know what's happened here. Bloop, bloop. All the world wants is a good night's sleep, soldier. Now back off that gear now. No, sir. I've got a lot of questions and I plan to get my answers. One way or another. Listen, Sullivan. I picked you for this mission because you have a record of surviving. I'm trying to give you a chance to keep your record clean. <laughs> I thought we were on the same side. This thing is beyond sides, boss. Beyond good, beyond evil. I'm just cleaning up the crap I hear. I feel for you. Really, I do. If you feel any better, I promise on my mother's grave you'll be getting the purple heart <laughs> for all of this. Posthumously, if necessary. Let me tell you where to shove your purple heart. Shoot them! Shoot them! And of course they are positioned differently. an idea Fight. I don't know if this actually does anything. I'm like, 
rule of cool, baby. Things happen. Shouldn't the discs do something? You're a damn fool, Sullivan. I don't know who you think that man is, but let me tell you, he's Kozol's right hand man. Dabrowski, what's he talking about? Why aren't these discs working? Perhaps you wait a time. That they work. And why you listen to him? He is with Kozov. He tried to kill us all. You hear my story. I am innocent. He is the killer here. Don't listen to him, Sullivan. He's lying to you. He was Kozol's right-hand man, and he used you to get into the lab because he couldn't do it by himself. Not do it? <laughs> I have twice brain as you. Huh? Where am I now? Dabrowski, what are you saying? So what if you know, Sullivan? You do what I need. You turn the lab on. You see? This work. Now power! It is everywhere for those who understand. For me... <laughs> That's enough. You are under arrest. Step back! <laughs> Dabrowski? That... thing? Stop it! It's going after Lamar! Forget the general! He tried to kill us, boss! He's still human. Go! Go! Ah, uh, so like... He... he has plot armor. Mutated Dobrovsky. Uh, of course, the device no longer works. I think we should put some bones down. Oh, okay. So the oh, the device does. I guess he picked it back up. I know nothing. You have a bomb. Back. 
something for him to put oh oh so it's that kind of battle okay was blowing up, okay. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, first off, let's use uh, the rifle. close because That's so cool. Okay, that's uh, that changes everything. Okay, now then, now that we know that this works, we can totally fry it and boil it and put it on the pan. Dark. 
Ah, oh, yes. Okay, and it put out the fire. Should try and dart. should be ready now. Uh, I think let's do shotgun instead. Chop, chop. I'm Diane Solomon. Quick, you must listen alone. Ovitz, mm. Frontine. Clear out. You shouldn't have stopped me, boy. Not that it matters. Now, there are others, but they are confused. And they don't have my willpower, son. What others? When the crap hits, they're not gonna have the nerve. They don't understand the consequences, not like you. <laughs> You've seen it. Now, listen carefully. Only a few people know the things I'm about to tell you. Back in 1989, one of our boys, Gordon Desta, found something new and exciting. Found that we all carry in one special little gene. A retrograde gene. We're born with this gene already inside. Only it is as if it's sleeping. Of course, it'll wake up someday. And when old Desta's gene is activated, everybody's gonna die. <laughs> Who knows how long we had it, son? Probably since we first walked upright. All that time, our little gene just stayed quiet like it did with the dinosaurs. And then, click. Like a time bomb, it started ticking. Each year, we lose more. We've hidden it so far, but we're running out of time. It's a generation, more or less. Did you say all of mankind? That's a crock. This is about weapons, isn't it? Plagues to use against mankind. I'm telling you God's honest truth, boy. I was the only one in the group to admit it. The only one with the guts to act. That's bull. <laughs> We've seen the Russians here. Of course you have. Of course you have. They got some smart minds up there in the ice. Best hyperdimensional physicists in the world. One of their boys, Morozov, designed a <laughs> teleportation device. But only on paper. They had ideas, but they had no funding. That's where we came in. We helped with the cash. We believed that teleportation technology would help us to stop Dester's gene by essentially teleporting it out of human <laughs> DNA. And he made it work, too. But after that, the Russians simply refused to give the teleportation devices to us, and Morozov disappeared. As I said, they needed the money. General Kozov, who was the coordinator of the project from the Russian side, felt he could sell it for a bundle. He thought he could sell it to Iraq, to us, to anyone who could pay him. 
Morozov's little brother convinced him that it could be a weapon, too. Said he could uh, control it. Kozov ran Gorky 17, the city where the lab was located. And then Vladimir started to mutate humans with the machines. Only he couldn't control it. Everything spun out of control. So Kozov decided to bomb and to destroy the whole damn city. He wanted the Soviet puppet masters to believe that the technology was destroyed with it. Except the technology survived. Oh, yes, the technology. Kozov and Vladimir Morozov all survived. They created a backup laboratory here. That's when we think Vladimir got cold feet. He started trying to expose the entire project. He figured Kozov would kill him eventually anyway. He didn't care about the victims of his experiments, though, so don't think he was a martyr, boy. Vladimir played you for a fool, Sullivan. He said he was trying to save the city. What if it was true? Nah, shut up with y'all, Truism. <laughs> this is about survival, boy. That's why I sent Group 1 and you to find this place. That's why I couldn't let you survive once you found it. Imagine if information about Dester's gene went public. What kind of panic would ensue? We wouldn't even stand a chance. <laughs> Men like me need time to find a cure. No. No. I won't believe that. It's too <laughs> horrible. You must believe me. I'm dying. But there's still a chance. You've seen this place. You have the fire in your belly to do what must be done. There's an item in the laboratory which can save us all. This is what Kozov was after. What we were all after. Find it. I hope you will know what to do when you see it. <laughs> Please, believe me. You are our last chance. General, assuming I believe you, who else knows about this? Please, please, just go. Hurry. Hurry, you must hurry. Others will be coming. There's a secret room somewhere in the lab. Secret. Now please find it. Please. Blah. God save us all.
this has been going to be 17 i'm gonna stop recording now thank you very much for watching and also i'm going to check out if, if there is an alternate ending and if there is i'm gonna record that until then bye bye and see you in some other world